All right, well, a brutal fire season is already upon us. Over 5,200 firefighters are battling nine large wildfires in California. Now, Cal Fire reports Sunday's high temperatures combined with the low humidity led to an increase in wildfire conditions. Several large wildfires broke out burning hundreds of more acres. Now temperatures in many parts of California were expected to be 5 to 15 degrees above normal today. Humidity expected to drop into the single digits in the afternoon. This combination will increase the fire risk. Now the Marina fire, the total acreage now burned has been adjusted to 654 acres and as of this morning, 46% containment. The change in acreage is due to more precise GPS mapping. Now the Marina fire is located north of Lee Vining and crossed over a portion of Highway 395. We thank Dan McConnell for this video. Now as of 8 o'clock this morning, U.S. Highway 395 had been reopened in both directions. This after being closed Friday afternoon due to the Marina fire and had have CHP escorts on Sunday into this morning. Now all evacuations have been lifted and the residents have been allowed to return home due to evacuations being lifted. Mono County Sheriff's Department no longer in unified command with the United States Forest Service. Press release notes that fire crews are working closely with air operations and continue to make progress on improving the containment line around the fire perimeter. Mop-up operations continued in all areas of the fire as well as along Highway 395. Hot spots still exist within the fire perimeter and will continue to produce light smoke as it consumes the unburned vegetation. Crews will focus their efforts on building containment line on steep slopes, identifying hot spots, and beginning suppression repair efforts. Now, officials ask that the public continue to drive safely through the fire area as crews continue to utilize 395 to access the fire. Southern California Edison crews continue to repair and replace power lines affected by the fire. Potential for rock slides still exist and will be monitored by incident personnel. Now a bear team that's burn area emergency response team is evaluating the fire area for soil, soil erosion, flood assessment and other potential impacts to the natural resources. As of last report, 11 hand crews, 23 engines, two dozers, six helicopters, two fixed wing aircrafts and three water tenders were on the marina fire, a total of 493 personnel assigned to the incident. Now the investigation to determine the cause of the fire is ongoing. And there's also the Erskine fire. Now that is burning near Lake Isabella started last Thursday afternoon. The Erskine fire has burned nearly 45,400 acres. That's about 70 square miles. And there have also been two fatalities. Over 150 homes have been destroyed along with another 50 buildings or so. The Erskine fire was 40% contained as of this morning and over 2000 firefighters are on scene near Lake Isabella working the Erskine fire. Also, Cal Fire notes that this is week marks the beginning of safe and sane fireworks being sold in approximately 300 communities in California. It's critical that if you choose to buy safe and sane fireworks in one of the communities that you exercise extreme caution. Only use those fireworks that have the state fire marshal seal of approval. Now, California, as well as Mono County and the town of Mammoth Lakes, Inyo County also, zero tolerance toward the use and sale of illegal fireworks. Mono County and Town of Mammoth Lakes, again, a zero policy against all fireworks. Now you can get a full firework safety guide at the website readyforwildfire.org. And again, we thank Dan McConnell for the video from the Marina Fire. Well, Deb Murphy filed this update in a brief court session this morning. The 137 charges against Don D. Rossi were reduced to 91 by appointed Judge Philip Argento. Judge Argento, uh, Argento anticipated the resumption of the trial proceedings, but defense attorney David Evans opted to hold off until 
tomorrow morning on Tuesday. Rossi was arrested in April of 2013 with the primary charge being embezzlement of one and a half million dollars from the Inyo County Health and Human Services Department. Testimony in the trial started in late February. So as Deb Murphy writes, what's one more day? Following a defense motion, draft judgment and a round of responses, Judge Argeno ruled that the 500 plus pieces of evidence all stand. The charges that have been dismissed include identity theft of those who did not testify in court, as well as counts of conspiracy to commit forgery. Despite the latter ruling, the charges of forgery are still in play. Okay, it's the biggest fundraising golf tournament in the Eastern Sierra. It's the Mammoth Hospital Cancer Outreach Golf Tournament. Sold out group of duffers enjoyed the event last Friday at Sierra Star Golf Course. Well, today at Sierra Star, uh, we're having our annual Cancer Outreach Golf Tournament. And uh, the golf tournament is held on an annual basis. It's uh, put on by the Mammoth Hospital Foundation. And the purpose is to raise funds for uh, cancer patients who need to travel outside of the area. We, we call it now the Brian Veneman Memorial Tournament. Uh, Brian was a local uh, guy, um, just a salt of the earth guy, a good friend to everybody. And he was a young man who uh, actually survived his first cancer diagnosis, but unfortunately succumbed to the second one years later. So we have a number of sponsors actually. The community really comes out and, and supports the tournament uh, every year. Uh, Renown Health is one of our sponsors. Our title sponsor this year is Carson Tahoe Health. Uh, Mammoth Mountain Ski Area uh, is a big sponsor um, for us. Several of our physician groups here at the hospital, our board of directors, uh, and just a number of businesses and volunteers in the community. It's really, uh, you know, cancer touches everybody, and so everybody really steps up and tries to support this tournament and help our uh, local citizens who've been uh, diagnosed in the last year. Uh, for travel expenses and other things. It's a, it's a great time. We've got a beautiful day. Uh, today is uh, Friday, uh, June the 24th. Uh, we usually uh, are the first tournament at Sierra Star every year, and uh, we've been blessed with great weather many years in a row. It's a really fun tournament. People come from all over to play in it, and it's always full. And uh, if you're interested in, in getting involved in the future, we're always looking for uh, other sponsors and other volunteers because it takes a lot of people to put it on and uh, other people to come out and play and support it. All right, we thank Rob Gill for that and many congratulations to all that participated in the Mammoth Hospital Cancer Outreach Golf Tournament. We'll be back with more news.